Welcome to Nitro Licks. Today's lesson, Who's Crying Now by Journey. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. Okay guys, let's get into the solo. Uh, that's pretty much all there is in the song. There is the one clean tone riff. Okay, so let's start off with the one guitar riff that isn't part of the solo, and that's that uh, fairly clean. But your four, slide up to the five on the G. Pick the third fret on the high E and then the five on the G again. Let them ring out. All right. <laughs> okay. So now into the solo. Uh, 15th fret on the B string, full step bend. I grab it with my middle finger because I'm going to, as I have that bent, I'm going to grab that 15th fret on the high E. You could use your ring finger and use your pinky. For, I just feel more comfortable the way I do it. However you want to do it, full step in, 15th fret B string, then grab that 15th on the high E. And then you'll pick the 15th fret on the B again, but you want to release it first. So it's not, okay, it's 13, 12. Next is. So that high E on the 15th fret and the full step in. So you start off. And then it's. The tip on those full step bends, um, if, instead of doing it with one finger, if you have your index finger uh, two frets behind that it gives you more strength too it makes a huge difference so uh, if you're just starting out or if you don't know that trick try that that'll really help you with those full step bends okay and then it's back to the and then 14th fret on the g back to the 12 on the b and that vibrato there okay and then the next lick is you're going to slide up to the 14th fret on the D string and then 12 and 14 on the G. Hit that 14 twice and then slide down. It's a slow slide down. And then those same notes, 14 and 12 on the G, uh, G string, and then the 12 on the D, but this time you start off on the 14th fret on the G, 
pull off to the 12th, 12th fret on the uh, D. So, so far it's okay. And then after that is So that is 10, 12, 14 on the uh, D, and then back to the 10, 12 on the A. And then uh, 10, hammer on the 12 on the D in vibrato. And slide down again. Okay. Okay, next, this looks really fun. You slide up to the 14 on the D. Twelve, fourteen on the G, and then uh, 12 to 13, pull off to 12 on the B. Back to the 14 on the G. Back to the 12. Thirteen, fifteen, And then a half step bend. And then back to the 15. So half step bend on the 15, release to the 15. Back to the 13 on the B and then the 14 on the G. Thirteen, slide from fifteen to seventeen. Fifteen on the high E, seventeen on the high E, and that's a full step bend. Hold that, and then you bend it another half step. Release it, fifteen back to seventeen. Another bend, and release down to fifteen, and then fifteen on the B. So that is 15 to 17, the bend and release back to 17, down to 15, 17 on the G and uh, bend it, back to the 15 on the uh, B. And now, uh, staying on that 15th fret on the B, up to a 17 and then pull off. That's the 16th fret on the G. And you're gonna bend that and release it back. And then down to the 14 on the G. 14, 16. And then a little half step bend on that 16. See, so half bend back to 16. Back to 14. 17 on the D. And then end on the 14th fret on the D. And slide down. So that last lick, again, it's back to how the solo was in the beginning. And then we hear that variation we didn't hear in the beginning of the solo.
And then uh, go back to the second variation of that lick that we heard in the beginning of the solo when it does this. And that's it, guys. That is how you play the solo and the one riff in Who's Crying Now by Journey. Uh, it's a fun song to play. If you play it like that, you're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to feel like some kind of classic rock guitar god. Okay. See you next time.